All right, welcome back, everybody. Shut the fuck up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's everybody doing? <laughs> I just quit talking for the rest of it. Um, so yeah, we gotta do some, that up. No. do some editing to that. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, we're, we'll do some editing so we can turn and uh, maybe uh, some more add some more weapons. Oh yeah, we're gonna add more weapons. We could have sure. probably left those two things that were sticking out, but whatever. Well, That's I was fine. gonna see. Oh the, yeah, the steering hinges. Yeah, because I might... forgot how this game works. So did I. Um, <laughs> so in the previous episode, we were talking about uh, movies like reboots and shit. Yeah. Shits. Um, so we were gonna continue that conversation because uh, Andy brought up a good point. Um, the fact that they're redoing, uh, well, they're doing another Halloween movie, mm -hmm. and apparently it's Halloween three, which is very confusing considering. Uh, they made a Halloween 3, and it was terrible. <laughs> and then Rob Zombie made two Halloween movies, but yeah. that's not the same Halloween movies as what they're remaking. Which is where... I actually... We have a friend at work that I was actually talking about this with us yesterday. Yeah. And he hates the... Rob Zombie Rob ones. Zombie ones. I didn't think it was bad. I only saw the first one, though. The but. second one, I didn't care for. I, I have them both, and... I mean, they're all right. Um, but, like, the thing that's confusing is you can't, like, take a movie... Then reboot the movie. Then go, oh no, none of that happened. Yeah. None of the sequels we've already made for this movie existed. We're going to go back so only Halloween 1 and 2 are canon. And the re and then this yeah, one starts. Yeah, some of it is kind of... Because the know. new one's going to have Jamie Lee Curtis in it. And yeah, so it's it just makes it confusing. I mean, they kind of did that with X-Men too. But it was, I don't know, X-Men was weird. Sure. Yeah, well, they, they did. They I, did one and two. Then three sucked. So then they yeah. did the X Men be or first class, which is a good oh, huh. like restart for it. It's oh. like a not like a reboot. Half and they point? tied it all in with uh, Days of Futures Past, where they're like, oh yeah, so three didn't happen anymore, and none of that bullshit happened. So we're going back in time, and yeah, the timeline for X Men movies is kind of ridiculous too. <laughs> I I do enjoy all the X Men movies though. I kind of wish they didn't like do so much crazy stuff, but I I do enjoy them. Yeah, they they did make it so like you can watch them in order still, <laughs> and then they forward. still end up making sense <laughs> somehow, somewhat. Yeah, I mean for the most part. <laughs> Other than people being born at different times and like. Let me try this up here. In X Men Two, they find Nightcrawler, but yet he was friends with them in that other X Men movie, uh, Apocalypse. He was part of oh, the Oh, yeah, he was part of the group in there. Yeah. He's so, a sweet character. I mean, I think I think they got it kind of, you know, straightened <laughs> out. Okay. I'm, I'm a huge X-Men fan, and, I mean, I'm kind of X-Men out of the movies a little bit. I actually don't. But, what are they even doing for the next one? Do you know anything um, about that? I think it's um, Mr. Sinister is what they're going to do. Ah, okay. So, and I think it's going to take place, the last one took place in 83. I think it's going to take place in, like, the early 90s. All right, here we go. Oh, shoot. No, I didn't want this to fall already. <laughs> Crap! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, I wanted to find a way well. to use this, but I don't know how you were supposed to effectively use that. I just put a hinge mm -hmm. on there, but I thought uh, maybe I had to, like, hit something for the, the hinge to go. But, um... I could do something where I just stop and it will roll off, but then I'll probably be too close still. I don't know. Maybe, um... A boulder? <laughs> that sounds kind of fun. I want to use some of these things over here, but I'm too dumb to figure out how to hook yeah, them up. Leave a, leave a comment so we know how to uh, here, make gonna, a cannon. I'm just going to try to just use the stuff we got. I had some cannons and other crap to it, so... Okay. I just got to remember what, Fire. The, what the things are. Oh no. I can't move. <laughs> Doesn't yeah, matter, fire. I'm on fire anyways. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna try it one more time. I think just you have just... to, like, yeah, you have to, like, fire and take out that cannon. Oh, so I think, yeah, I think like one of our rockets didn't do very well. Did I shoot the thing for the cannons already? Oh, there it goes. It broke off. <laughs> now I think you need to add saws so you can go run into those people, but you also need yeah. something to take out that top cannon. Definitely do. Need a lot of stuff. So. Um. So maybe, yeah, saws. We need saws. That is a for sure. I don't know if they can be hooked to the front of this thing with the metal plates. 
See, I think wouldn't pull. I think with like comic book movies, like they should just make like the comic book movie and like not worry about sequels and making it all make sense. Well, like they do with some like comic book things, just make thing, everything uh, standalone. That I think I'm hoping they might actually do correctly is uh, so they're making like a Joker mo- standalone movie, but they're making it separate from everything else going on. I'm wondering if they're actually going to do like what we want them to do, where they're going to focus on an entire storyline, sum it up in one movie, and that's it. Uh, God. <laughs> All right, I'm going off on another tangent here. Okay. The thing I hate about movies today, too, is everybody wants to explain everything's origins now, and that's getting to like bother me, too. Like Some things are just better like without having an origin, like... Star Wars was a better thing before the prequels happened. Like, it was cooler to see, like, you know, Darth Vader and stuff than it was to see Anakin Skywalker become Darth Vader, I think. Like, it's more cool that he was mysterious. Same with Joker. He's, like, a character that, like, he's not meant to make sense. Like, oh, he's so they shouldn't... It's, it's crazy. It's more fun to, like, have him, like, not know how he became him, you know? And... I feel like yeah, we'll do that. feel kind of the same with right like Rogue One, like tying it, they oh, tied everything yeah. together, but at the same time, it made everything seem rushed. It puts things like on a timeline, and it's like, eh, that's that's my opinion about it. But like X Men Origins Wolverine, like it kind of ruined Wolverine. Like it's, yeah. it's better just like well, it's to like know because what... of Deadpool. <laughs> well, no, it, was, it ruined it because like it's better for a, that Wolverine character to like for him to like not know what happened before he was in Weapon X. Like it makes it more interesting because um, it's yeah. like a mysterious he's, past. Yeah, he's just mysterious. All so it's it's I feel like it's better that way. And a lot of people like they like the answered question or like answer the unanswered questions, but it's like once you find out what the answer is it's it's always terrible it's never good and i mean they could make a good movie about it but like the fact that like that's gonna be some sort of canon of Oops. joker's history now <laughs> maybe and the fact i'm burning gonna help do some things <laughs> no. took out that one can no yeah i did but that, that was a plus i'm gonna try it <laughs> Okay. And then yeah, like every movie being made is like, here's a Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the beginning, and here's, you know, this guy's origins. It's like, it, like, you know, even in the remake of the Friday the Thirteenth movie, one thing I thought was cool at the time was like they showed how Jason kind of like gets around and knows, happens to know where people are at. He has all these tunnels dug. Oh yeah. But at the same time, it's like it's less mysterious because like. Come on you know he's, like, running around underground instead of, like, oh, he can just fucking teleport. Well, yeah, thing. that's true. Because so it makes it more scary that yeah. way. Yeah. Hey, we do better on so that. So, like, one. explaining certain things, like, certain details don't need to be said. It makes it better that it's more mysterious, I think. Like, I don't know. I, I don't read a lot of, like... Like the I don't read the it box? All, but, well, yeah, like, what's what, the mystery box? But like, I th- actually, I was hoping you were going to quote seven. What's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> but like, <laughs> what was I saying? But like, uh, oh, 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 like oh. Um, H.P. Lovecraft stories. Like, there's a lot of setups that oh. don't make sense. Yeah. Like, I don't read a lot of it. Nice, good job. <laughs> I, Thank you. But I've I've been told a lot about it, and I've like looked into a lot of like the stories and stuff. And it's cool to have things that like the audience it doesn't need to make sense to oh, because it's supposed to be unknown you know or alien origins aka prometheus oh god nobody gave a shit about that because that movie everybody's okay. sick of these origins i but i, I want to see the, the new one the covenant one yeah i've heard good things new, yeah newer i think it's out on video now yeah it is i haven't have yet to get it though it's probably been out for a while i don't know Let's see what happens nope Oh, I gotta blow more up than just the thing? Is this gonna kill us when I start moving? I don't know. <laughs> okay, well that's interesting. Well, we'll figure this one out uh, next time, though. Yeah. Um, you know, I'll yeah. complain more about uh, movies. <laughs> about <laughs> pop culture stuff. <laughs> it sucks because I love pop culture so much, but I hate it at the same time. I just wish... Love-hate relationship. I, I just wish things could be left alone how they were. That's all I'm saying. It's be like, you know, watching, like, one of your favorite movies as a kid. Like, I don't know, like, Home Alone. 
And then you, when you realize, like, Macaulay Culkin grew up to be, like, a meth addict or whatever <laughs> the fuck drugs he was into. I mean, he's clean now, I think, but... Yeah, I think he did turn his... Turn but, like, around. if they made, like, Home Alone 3 and, like, whatever the Home Alone movies that were, like, straight to video didn't count anymore. And it was just, like, Maca- like Kevin McAllister at home doing meth. <laughs> and it, it would ruin the first, you know, first two movies. That's what I feel like they're doing to uh, with, movies with everything these days. else? Yeah. Not necessarily with meth, but, you know, you know, you get the gist. Yeah. How it's, you know, it's, yeah. you're taking things <laughs> and you're expanding on it and just fucking leave it alone. That's all I'm asking. Come up with your all own right. new story and it could take place in like the same universe, but like have it be a side story, you know? Not everything has to be, you know, all about the Skywalkers all the time. The, those rockets in back are going to hit those Oh shoot, that's right. Well, anyways, we'll look at this next time. You, you you calm down with your rants right now. I can't help we, it. We gotta, we gotta go. I get on these tangents and I just <laughs> I just want to complain to somebody, and I want people to agree with the, me and just see my point of view. I just want my listen. point of view. <laughs> They'll listen to you. All right. I just want it to be known. Thanks, thanks for watching. I want them um, to open their minds and quit spending money on and, bullshit. Uh, and uh, <laughs> Adam will keep on his tangent. <laughs> Bye. We'll be on a new tangent. Fuck you. Ha, ha, ha.